Hi, everyone. We are here for another progress and learning video. This time I'm with Bing's Huang. Bing's, hello there. Good to have you here. Hi, Josh. Yeah. So Bing's has been just a great collaborator in uh, the Masterheart uh, business mentoring group that I that I created. And she's been you know, forming connections and collaborating and making her own progress. Uh, so I wanted to have her share some of her lessons with you all. And hopefully you'll get encouraged to go and create and collaborate more. So Bings, before we get started, do you want to share a brief intro? How would you describe uh, your, okay. your, yeah, yourself? Okay, thank you, Josh, for inviting me to this. Um, so I'm a gentleness ambassador, storyteller, and soul dancer. And, and now my passion is in helping other authentic solopreneurs share their wisdom on, on Medium, um, the, the platform. Yeah. Right, medium.com has become more and more uh, kind of popular, well, popular in the world, but also inside of the Master Heart Business Group, um, you know, more people are wanting to write. And so it's great that you're kind of helping them with, you know, getting them on there. And then uh, you, you have a publication, you have a basically a magazine on medium.com now where uh, you invite, um, you know, some of my group members to write for, for, for the magazine. So it's really cool. Um, so yeah, maybe you could share any lesson you want to share regarding creating content um, that, that, you know, you've learned over the past, you know, months or years, uh, however you want to think about it. So um, I was just going through all the lessons I've learned um, being in Master Heart since 2018, when I had my third baby, um, he was just a few months old and I just um, got really excited to, to join, just felt the urge that I need to join this program. And it was at that time when I finally had some income through my healing business because I kept um, sharing my content authentically. And uh, prior to taking your workshops, I thought that I should keep my opinions to myself because the, the form of healing that I do is to, um, to hold a space, a gentle space for the healer, for the client to unwind their feelings and thoughts and just um, not holding any judgment. So I thought that I, I don't have anything to share on social media, but uh, after taking your your content course, um, I I just started to share more and more about my own thoughts, and I I really feel that I've come a long way from from there. <laughs> so I've written uh, two books already. Uh, after taking your your course on creating a a book, just just uh, going the self-publishing route. Um, I wrote my book on gentleness. And at first it felt awkward because it's not a SEO friendly word. <laughs> Nobody actually searches for um, gentleness as, as uh, on Google. Um, but the next year in, in 2020, the, the pandemic came and suddenly everyone was feeling this, um, the importance of being gentle with themselves uh, and with uh, everyone around them. So uh, I started to get more, to gain more sort of resonance with this topic on gentleness and that actually encouraged me to go forward and even do some interviews with healers, coaches, uh, and, and writers all over the world. So it's, it's very, very exciting to me. <laughs> like even when I was uh, in lockdown um, with, my, with my kids and husband and we couldn't go out, uh, it, it made me feel very alive and um, I had a very meaningful time connecting, doing all these interviews with all these people and, and sharing about their work. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm so proud of you because, uh, yeah, who would, who would have thought that you would have, you know, published books and you're collaborating uh, 
quite a lot now. Um, I mean, you've done different types of collaborations. So, uh, well, before we get, get into the collaborations part, say more about your courage, really. You've developed a lot of courage in creating content. I mean, one example that people, uh, you know, wouldn't think they can do this, but you, you did it. You, you're now sharing dance, your own dance videos. Yes. Right. Um, and it was an experiment, but it really, uh, I think it makes your uh, presence unique to people and allows you to really express a part of yourself that can't come through writing, even though you are a great writer. Um, so say, say more about that, you know, and you even, you, you even call yourself a soul dancer, S-O-U-L, soul dancer is part of your yeah. title. So t tell us more what, what that, what that means to you and, and. Uh, yeah. it, is, it is part of my personal transformation. So I've always loved dance. And um, being a mom, I lost touch with dance and I lost touch with my passion. So, um, but uh, when I slowly gained the courage to, to really go and take, take dance classes and post my videos, I think it helps me to share my, my passion online and uh, it sort of helps me to, to break out, out of my own uh, definition of what gentleness should be. So I thought gentleness, um, if I want to be a gentleness ambassador, I should be really still and calm. Uh, but in my dance videos, I'm very, um, I can be very uh, active. <laughs> Uh, very uh, vibrant and uh, so it could be like a k-pop dance video or it could be an intuitive dance video with my um, silk fan veils so I really enjoy showing that part of myself uh, but it came true after showing my videos in certain uh, closed Facebook groups mm. and just slowly gaining some resonance then I felt more comfortable to be uh, more open with it and share my insights. Yeah, that's really good. That's a really good tip. I, I hope everyone watching this, if you are feeling shy about sharing your yourself, sharing content, or some more experimental content, uh, think about you know forming a private Facebook group with a few supportive friends or colleagues to to share that kind of experimental content for some encouragement. So. Um, I'd love that you all you have you have stayed with the word gentleness now uh, because I think over the years it will become like you said originally it wasn't because of search engine optimization people weren't searching gentleness or at least not the way that you talk about it but you really have carved out your own niche you've created a niche for gentleness which is beautiful and I think over the years it's going to become I mean, you, you, you've created, I mean, to me, I mean, I think to, to a lot of the people who know you, uh, of course, when we think of that word, I know when I think of the word gentleness, it's almost like sometimes I'm, I'm thinking my mind, you know, okay, beings can, mind I borrow that term right now, <laughs> you know, so it's really cool. It's really cool. Um, so, uh, well, actually, you know, I, I, I want to ask you this question, uh, you know, how did you even come up with the word gentleness, how did it come to you? Like, why, yeah. Um, so um, when, I, when I changed my career and to, to become a physical therapist and, and it felt terribly <laughs> because I was too overwhelmed um, with working at a hospital. I, uh, at that most, um, at that dep depressing period, I, I sort of channeled these words for myself to uh, know that I'm loved and I'll always be loved. And, and that was the, the first um, energy of gentleness that came to me. And throughout the years, like uh, I've connected with various um, teachers, modalities, and it just feels like um, they're all about the energy of gentleness and being a Virgo. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm actually a, a perfectionist. 
So um, gentleness brings me back to my to my center. And yeah, also the, the act of just wanting to commit to writing a book uh, made me have that kind of insight because I know that I want to write a book, but I'm not sure what it's about. It, it was the process of writing that made it clear that this is the theme that runs through all the transformations I've, I've gone through over the years. Wow, that's great. That's really good. Yeah. Um, and I, I think those who are listening and watching this um, can take some can take some insight from this in that, you know, your niche or your main message um, will will emerge, like we don't have to push, we don't have to push and make it happen. Uh, it can emerge, just like it did for you. And when it does emerge, it becomes really clear. I have always believed in that. Like for me, the whole authentic marketing thing uh, didn't wasn't something I forced on. It was just something that kind of emerged over time as I as I shared ideas, you know. So I feel like that's that's yeah, that's, what a great example. I mean, how how it's emerged in your life. So let's move over to this topic of collaborations because you are uh, one of the more um, skillful, you know, collaborators uh, that I've seen. So do you want to talk about, you know, a lot of people I think who are watching this or listening are shy about collaborations um, for many reasons. One is sometimes they don't, um, you know, they feel like they have to get to know someone super well before they collaborate. That's one possible. Or another possibility is, oh, I've had a bad collaboration in the past, so now I'm, or they're just shy about reaching out. But what kind of um, encouragement or insights have you learned about collaboration? Mm, I would say to start with uh, expressing your appreciation for that specific person. So it doesn't have to be a, a two-way exchange. Um, and yeah, the, the more you share your appreciation, it, it could be another person from that network will uh, reach out to you as well. So it might not be a one-for-one -one kind of collaboration. Uh, it's just that when you open up and express your gratitude and appreciation, you start to attract the same things, the same people, similar people uh, into your network. So that's, uh, that's what I love about collaborations. And um, I always start collaboration with this, um, this mindset that I'm, I'm here to learn. So I'm very new in business and I'm a, I'm a business baby. <laughs> so I'm always here to learn from um, whoever I want to, I like to collaborate with. That's why I always start with, I enjoy interviews and I use my modality, which is human design to, to see the sort of, um, see what the energetic challenges and gifts that I can highlight um, from that person and, and from there on we start an interesting dialogue so that's why I enjoy about uh, collaboration yeah yeah I want to share on on the screen um, your the authentic solopreneurs project can I do that sure, yeah. sure. okay Thank you. so I want just everyone to see it um, it's on medium.com uh, you can get there by medium.com slash authentic uh, hyphen solopreneurs. I'll put the link in the notes of the video or the episode. And it's, it's you know, it's beautifully done. And um, basically, things you, you curate articles from others that you feel like would fit a fit, fit this topic uh, that would serve other um, authentic solopreneurs, um, which are a lot of the people who are who are uh, watching or listening right now. And um, do you uh, are, you know, I encourage everyone to come in and, and read this. And do you also um, accept 
writers? Uh, what, what's, your, what's your criteria right now for accepting writers into this magazine? Um, as, as long you have, um, as long as you're sharing wisdom based on your work experience, yeah, you're welcome to join. So, so there are many, many writers on Medium, but they might not be sharing from their own authentic experience and um, training. So I just want to have this uh, specially curated uh, selection of works from people who really know their stuff and they're not out to be too um, salesy about it. That they're, they're very generous in sharing and they invite, at the same time, they invite you to work further with them if you want to. So that's that's the, it, it makes me so happy to see the, the number of articles growing in the publication. So yeah, yeah it's, it's a really a, a, a joy to see that. <laughs> yes, yes. And I also, uh, have heard from others who have submitted that you, uh, as the curator, as the publisher, you also give them tips on how to improve, right, their article before it, it gets submitted. So even the submission process itself is a learning experience for the writer. Uh, you have so much experience writing now. I mean, it's amazing, right? I mean, you've written so many articles. You've You've, um, you know, written books and, and now you're a curator, you're a publisher. So you, I think there's a, there's great value really in um, if they're able to, if they're a right fit for your, the magazine and they submit, they'll learn a lot in that process. So that's really, really cool. Um, so what is, do you want to share where you can, you see your own business and career going like what's what kind of vision are you if there is a vision that you're excited about or uh, any kind of what do you see <laughs> forward yeah um my my biggest dream is to be a, a public speaker and and a prolific author so and at the same I'm time sorry, I'm, the, uh, public speaker and what kind of author uh to Pro prolific author to, to keep writing books prolific, each year. Prolific, like yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, so I, I really want to continue spreading the message on, on gentleness. And at the same time, I like to connect with, with a growing network of, of uh, authentic healers, coaches. And I, I feel that we, we make the world better. <laughs> so, uh, so this is my, my, my biggest dream. Yeah, well, I think you're well, uh, well qualified and well, you know, it just, it just, it fits who you are, uh, that, that dream. So uh, I'm really glad you're doing it. Um, if people want it, so uh, do you want to, so, you know, we've talked about the Authentic Solopreneurs as, as a project you're working on. Uh, is there any other kind of offer or uh, way uh -huh. that, that you'd like people to engage with you or consider doing it? Um, I'm, I'm working on a beta program, a, a group program for fellow uh, solopreneurs who want to get started on Medium. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm drafting a, a four-week course where we can just take baby steps together. I know um, they are also very busy in their businesses, so uh, we we'll slowly progress to, to making um, yeah, an impact on Medium. Wonderful. And yeah, we can trust that you will bring your gentleness to the program so that, uh, yeah, even if you're really busy, you know, you can still take part in it. And with, with baby steps is really how you make solid, decent, uh, well, building habits really to, so that they can continue on. So that's really wonderful. Um, you know, when the, uh, well, I'll, I'll put a link, uh, you know, in the, in the notes below, if people want to contact you about that. So, for those of you who have been curious about medium.com, which is uh, the way I like to think about medium.com, it's kind of like it's kind of like um, a beautifully uh, designed um, blog network, right? So where where you can go and create an account and have a blog, and you don't have to worry about any of the technology behind it because it's just already designed. It's already beautiful. And when you publish it, you're already in this network of other bloggers and writers 
some of whom are very famous and many of whom are just getting started with blogging. Um, so it's really, and you know, you have a lot of experience now writing on medium.com. So, you know, what works, you know, how to, you know, you know, how to all the best formatting ideas and how to get more visibility for, for one's medium articles. So I think people would be, you know, really fortunate to, to learn with you. So, um, yeah, that's really wonderful. Well, anything else, Bings, you want to share as we complete this uh, conversation? Uh, I, I just, I appreciate the way that you keep saying the same things over and over again. Like I, I learned about authentic content marketing from you a, a few years ago, but I'm still learning new things to apply and I can see my growth. So I really appreciate that. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. I can see your growth too. I mean, and I've actually interviewed you one, one or a few times, I think by this point. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I feel like, yeah, I feel like you've, you've grown, you know, and people can, of course, uh, they want to watch your previous ones. Although just be clear, uh, you also made a, uh, you know, like you're not offering the kind of healing sessions that you used to. I don't know if you are or not, but you made a pivot. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You want to talk uh, about that? Okay. Uh, I, I decided that I need to be gentle on myself, on, um, on my business, because I, I really, I, I don't have the, the presence to, to offer uh, healing sessions to my clients anymore because of um, the, my, my growing uh, demands on, on time and energy for my kids. So I have three kids. So that's why I'm pivoting and um, deciding on offering writing services for fellow solopreneurs. It also suits me because I am actually very um, sensitive energetically. So uh, it kind of drains me too much if I work, if I have too many private one-on-one -on -one sessions. So, but if I channel my creativity into my writing and helping others with theirs, uh, I think it's, it's, it's really a, a win-win situation. So yes. I'm very happy about that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's great. And I, I think that's um, a testament to, I, I mean, people should be free. If it's your own self-employment, why can't you pivot? Of course you can. You can pivot completely to a different business model. Um, and so thanks for being, being that example, being willing to pivot, uh, taking care of well, one child is already a full-time job in my, in my head, in my experience, let alone three young children. That's really impressive. So, uh, I want to, I want to congratulate you on, on doing a good job as that's the, your most important job, you know, being a, being a mother. And then uh, now you're doing this, you know, writing and curation of writing. So, um, yeah, really, uh, really proud of you. And I hope people will uh, stay connected with you and kind of benefit from what you offer. So thank you so much, Bings, for all that you do. Thanks for having me. Bye.